I remember around two years back it was Sunday afternoon and I went to a shopping mall with my family. My mother is fond of a non-vegetarian meal. So we went to KFC restaurant. After placing the order, I told them that I am going to a next shop. After a few minutes, my cousin ran towards me and told that my mother is getting choked. I rushed towards her and found that she was responsive but could not speaking or coughing and she was holding her neck with both hands. I immediately went behind her and wrapped my arms around her waist and started providing abdominal thrusts. After a few thrusts, obsession was relieved. It was a piece of 3 into 3 cm chicken. She became fine and we enjoyed the whole Sunday. Today I'll share how to act when your loved one suffers from choking. Choking occurs when food or another object stuck in the upper airway. I repeat, choking occurs when food or another object stuck in the upper airway. The care depends on the degree of obstruction. The obstruction could be mild or severe. In mild obstruction, patient can speak, breathe or cough. In this situation, you encourage the person to cough. I repeat, when the obstruction is mild means when the obstruction patient is speaking, breathing or coughing, encourage him to cough and be with the patient and try to keep him calm. When the person is getting worse, call emergency medical number. I repeat, when the obstruction is mild, encourage to cough and try to keep the person calm. And if the person is getting worse, call emergency medical number. Now comes to when choking becomes severe. In severe obstruction, patient cannot speak, breathe or cough and shows universal sign of choking. Clutching of neck with one or both hands is the universal sign of choking. Now I'll give a demonstration on a mannequin how to perform abdominal thrust. Abdominal thrust also known as Hamlic maneuver and it is recommended when the person is responsive and older than one year of age. I repeat. You provide abdominal thrust in severe obstruction when person is responsive and older than one year of age. To provide abdominal thrust, you stand behind the person and pull towards you. Then wrap your arms around the waist below the rib cage. The side of your fist, you put side of your fist above the navel, so here is the navel, so you put your side of the fist above the navel and with other hand cups over the fist and press inward and upward, I repeat, you press forcefully inward towards the abdomen and upward towards the chest, the direction should be inward and upward. You keep providing thrust until obstruction is relieved or person become unresponsive. If the person become unresponsive, start CPR. To revise, when the choking is mild, remember cuff and when the obstruction is severe, provide abdominal thrust. Thanks.